Hey, welcome to TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG, and we're on location at a company called Be Light Aircraft, located in Wichita, Kansas. Now, I've got my hands on an ultralight aircraft here, or at least the makings of it. This is the fuselage, and when this aircraft is finished, it's going to be called Part 103 of the FAA standard. And what that means is that the engine, fuselage, wings, everything combined is 254 pounds or less. Now they're going to give me a chance to weld up some of this 4130 today. So we'll, uh, we'll get some close-ups and show you. This particular part is a uh, landing gear part made of 4130, and we're going to show you live the best way to weld it. Now, the fabricator welder here at this company has already preset this in, in the right angle, pre tacked it for me. His name is Richmond Love, and he's going to allow me to weld the last couple of inches on this. And when this is all finished, we're going to show you the weld, but we're also going to show you where it fits on the aircraft. So, Let's get started, and I'll start putting on my safety gear. Okay, this part has been pre-tacked. I actually have some clamps on here not to hold the pressure on, but actually to be a guide, just so I can have the, the palm of my hand in position. It makes it easier to weld, so make it easier on yourself. Now there's already some tacks on here. You can put more if you like, or less. Uh, this is a good fit up, it's tacked well. I'm probably gonna put two more tacks on. But um, I'm using a, a nine style torch, pointed tungsten, DC. I've got a, a Lincoln Square Wave 225 machine, and I've got the Argon set at about 15 CFH. So let's do a couple of tacks first. Okay, made the tack weld. Like I say, you can make as many tack welds as long as you absorb them when you're finished. Now I'm making another tack weld. I just don't want that plate to lift up. And this is kind of a uh, cross between a, uh, a fillet and a lap weld. Okay, I've got my tack wells in there. I'm going to start at one end. And then I'm just adding filler. I'm using, uh, using an 045 filler. You can see that a real tight arc voltage. Dab, 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 dab. It's welding up nicely. I can absorb that tack. Another dab. 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 Yeah, that's about half the weld. I'm a little bit out of position, so I'm just going to feather back and stop. Okay, I've repositioned and restarting the weld. And I'm using a 2% uh, thoriated tungsten. Uh, you can use several others. Serried is a good tungsten as well. And we're dabbing, 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 dabbing. I'm probably using about 40 amps. The wall thickness of this material is uh, about 35 thousandths and the, uh, the tab that's going in place is a little bit heavier so this 045 filler is working out real well you you can use 035 if you like but uh, when you get to 1 16th that's a bit much and we're going to do another fill you know this aircraft is mostly made up of aluminum 
but when it comes to the landing gear assembly, it's made of 4130 chrome molly. And that's the part that I was welding in this segment, and this is where it gets installed. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.